Hey Internet, it's Jesse Ish Guitars. I'm very excited to show you our new location on Teal Ave in Syracuse, New York. We kind of secretly moved out of our Armory Square location, uh, downtown Syracuse, uh, right in the middle of COVID, which was a total accident. Um, we had planned on buying a building already and we didn't really tell anybody about it. And we closed on April 3rd, right as everything was closing and exploding in the world. Uh, so we moved over here and started renovating the building and uh, it's not quite done yet so there's a lot of little things that's going to get better here as we go but i want to give you the tour since a lot of you can't be with us now so voila our showroom it is pretty freaking awesome um, if you remember the armory square location uh, it was absolutely gorgeous but it was tiny it was only 700 square feet actually um, we crammed like 300 guitars in 700 square feet which is a feat of science um, but in this location, we want to go for a different feel. Um, we have a big warehouse in the back, so we want to keep the guitars in their cases as much as possible with the least amount of human contact. And then the stuff out here, we wanted to make it so it's more of a museum type of feel. Um, so less instruments, not overwhelming like our other store. So we could really focus piece by piece on each of the incredible things that we have. Um, so let's start uh, with the acoustic room since it's right here. Um, so we actually have an acoustic room now, which is really awesome because in the other shop, it was just one big uh, room. So if you played electric guitar and someone was playing acoustic guitar, the electric guitar would always win. <laughs> it was too loud. Um, but, but got a bunch of gorgeous stuff in here. We've got our Taylors. We've got our Martins. Um, this uh, is one of the only remaining uh, office spaces that was in here. This was all offices in the front before. Um, but gorgeous stuff. You can see everything, a couple of ukes, the usual dealio. Um, all nice track lighting, cool drop ceilings. So in this space, it looks good now. When we first moved in, I brought all of the uh, team in here and they actually didn't really know I was buying a building. <laughs> so I brought everyone in for the first time and uh, everybody walked into this front area and was kind of like, oh, because uh, it didn't look like this. This looked like a dentist office. No offense, Dennis. We love you, but you know. Uh, low drop ceilings, ugly carpets, a bunch of walls were in here. Uh, it was a bunch of small offices. Um, so what we did is we ripped all the walls out, ripped all the ceiling out, ripped all the floor out, <laughs> and did all of this. It's mostly me and my, my mom and dad uh, and a couple of the uh, employees here helped. A um, bunch of people helped along the way, um, and it all ended up working out. But it was a long six months worth of work with 12-hour days, 13-hour days, um, to get to this point. We redid the floors, diamond ground the floors. They came out super cool with this really neat um, kind of industrial sort of feel. It's kind of the whole vibe of this whole space. Um, you know, industrial, rugged, open ceilings, cool corrugated steel along the top, stuff like that. Um, so there was a big wall that was right here. We ripped that sucker out in order to make our new uh, YouTube studio. Now this is gonna be, as you probably know, uh, and you're probably watching right now, uh, we're doing a lot more of YouTube stuff. It's been a huge riot of fun. Um, so we pulled that wall out and there you go, it's perfect. We're actually gonna be installing uh, two sets of lights in here. So we're gonna have a permanent lighting set up for this too. Right now we've got to pull lights out all the time. Um, we've got this freaking gorgeous turntable display and stuff going on here now. Um, it's just a really absolutely incredible space. Um, also the big, uh, I guess you could say keystone to this whole project, to this whole build out, was this really cool PRS display. This is the first display in the country that's ever been uh, installed into a guitar store. Um, PRS was super generous to help us get this and get it in and have one of the first ones that timed out perfectly. Cool lit sign and all this stuff. And we're gonna be rearranging a little bit of this as we go, um, but it just looks so cool with all the birds and stuff on it. Um, you know, the rest of this stuff here, uh, like I said, very simple, one guitar, forward facing, not a bunch of uh, pegboard or slat wall. Ugh, I hate that stuff so much. Um, we, we're not even putting price tags on anything at this point because we're appointment only right now. Um, and so we want to have that personal service and we know all the prices off of the top of our head, most of the time anyway. Um, coming over to our little uh, sitting area over here, we've got a bunch of our bases. Uh, we are working on building a really cool coffee table to go right here, which is actually a 
uh, Mercedes V12 engine block that, uh, that I happen to buy, so you'll see that soon. Um, but a bunch of our cool bases and stuff like that, cool spot to hang out, and then our cool new checkout table that I absolutely love. This is the coolest table in the world. I actually bought it on Amazon, of all places. Coolest thing ever. That's a uh, art piece that Jens Ritter uh, gifted me this year for a new store. Thank you so much again, Jens. Such a, cr a crazy cool gift. That thing's so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, our accessory racks here, and um, that's the main bits of the store. Um, we also have, if you follow me, uh, a new lesson room in here. Oh, and a motorcycle. <laughs> this is a CB550 that's hanging out here for now. It's going to end up somewhere else at some point. We're going to actually make this a little kind of museum in here for some of our special pieces that we're not getting rid of. Um, Entwistle's base and Frampton's base and stuff like that will we'll be out here on display. But for now, we have a cool motorcycle in our showroom. And then in here uh, is our lesson room. The acoustic room, the way that we designed it uh, is that the acoustic room is separated from the lesson room and we have two separate rooms so that we can have more people in here playing, not interrupting each other. Um, so the, the acoustic room can double as a lesson room as well if this is booked. Um, but just a good little space. It's actually a lot bigger than our previous le lesson room. Really great lighting, a good spot to learn and interact and stuff like that. These ceiling tiles were terrible, by the way. <laughs> the original old school 1970s uh, wood grain um, you know, grid, and then we painted that. We put all these new ceiling tiles in. Scott, who uh, you've probably seen in videos, did a lot of that work and absolutely hated it. <laughs> he never wants to see a ceiling tile again, but it came out great. It looks good now. It looked terrible, absolutely terrible before. So in the back, we'll get to kind of the brains of the operation here. Um, this is our office. I am so excited about this because I finally have an office after all these years. Um, before, back in the day, it was just the storefront. I was out front the whole time. Eventually we took over another clothing store uh, that was behind us. And so you had to like kind of walk down a hallway and then my office was also kind of the shipping area slash everything else. So this is super exciting to me. Um, got our cool big TV. And then this is also uh, kind of our private stock room at this point too. Because, um, you know, hey, look, if I'm going to be working all day, I want to be surrounded by some beautiful instruments. So I figured uh, <laughs> best of place as any for some good private stocky stuff. Um, of course, James Bond, Roger Moore posters as well. Got to get those vibes going. Uh, we still have a lot of decorating to do. I want to get some carpets in here and some cool you know, lighting and stuff like that. It's not quite done yet. This is just our break area, eating area. We're going to be putting a kitchen in eventually. Got bathrooms here. I have a really cool art display idea for right here that will be coming eventually. Um, and then this is where all of the actual work gets done. Um, so here we have uh, Amar's workshop. Um, this is super exciting to me, even more exciting to Amar. <laughs> Previously, he was in the basement of our last location. That building was built in 1886. The ceilings were about this high, and he was in like the back corner of the basement after we cleaned it out. It was all full of junk, and uh, you know there wasn't any heat down there. We had to run heat, and it was just a big mess. So if you ever want to go see Amar to, you know, we had an instrument to ship or something, we'd have to like run through this back hallway, through our front storefront, down a set of stairs, around you know another uh, storage area in the basement to the back of the basement to find Amar. It was like a two-minute journey every time you wanted to bring your guitar to him to ship because we inspect everything before we ship it and when it comes in. So it was like a lot of, uh, my, my legs and, and butt were in very good shape going up and down all those stairs. Um, but really cool new shop. He's got a lot of awesome cool new tools that we built. We just built a buffer and stuff like that. Uh, he's up here spraying a guitar right now. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, doing some repairs, uh, finish repairs on this PRS. We do, a lot of people actually don't know, we do a huge amount of repairs. At this point, we're probably the largest um, guitar repairer in Syracuse, which is really cool, a uh, huge honor, because there's been some really great uh, luthiers around this area, but a lot of them have gotten a little bit older, or you know, some moved away and stuff like that. Um, so we're picking up a lot of that slack whenever we can. Um, this is shipping area. It doesn't look super exciting right now. Uh, Jay Locke is in here. He's usually the one that's in a lot of our videos playing. Um, and he's always in here shipping stuff. Again, doesn't look super crazy to you. To me, this is the best thing ever because previously we shipped on a, on like a folding table that I found in the trash. And we didn't actually have any of these cool racks or 
fancy paper roller things or anything like this. So now we can have a really great process, have super high quality shipping, which is so important for guitars. You know, make sure they're not getting bumped around on the UPS truck. Well, they're going to get bumped around the UPS truck, but they're not going to get broken when we ship them. Um, we ship about a thousand guitars a year. So uh, really important that we have that all tightened up. Um, and then this is sort of uh, our most exciting part. This is our new warehouse. So that that basement that I was telling you about um, in the other building, again, really low ceilings, and uh, there wasn't actually any space to put racks in because the racks were just simply too tall. So the guitars would have to get put in boxes, uh, put in cases, put in boxes, and we'd stack them up on top of each other. And so anytime you wanted to get a guitar from that basement, it was always the guitar on the bottom because, of course, the first one you put on the pile ended up going down and down and down and down to the other bottom. So we always, you know, would have to pick who had to go down in the basement and get 15 guitars down and get the last one off the bottom, put all 15 boxes back up. And it worked okay, but um, it wasn't ideal. We ran a dehumidifier and stuff uh, down there. It worked fine, but this is a full climate control, you know, humidified, dehumidified, depending on what we need, heat, AC, the whole thing. Um, so we keep everything at perfect humidity and temperature. And also now um, the most exciting part is, of course, we have all of these cool rack numbers on here. So we can see exactly where we have an app on our phone. So when you come into the shop and you say, hey, uh, I want to see this Makina Blue uh, Custom 24. I just say, okay, cool. Find it. I say, okay, hey, it's rack D4. And then I can come up here and find exactly which guitar it is. Everything stays super organized. We want to make sure everything, we want to make sure we treat our guitars really, really well. And so our organization, our cleanliness in all of this um, is very important. They stay in their cases. They don't have to get knocked around on the floor and stuff like that. We really like it. Um, and also just look how gorgeous this is. I don't know why, but this totally turns me on. Having a great warehouse with like organized racks and numbers and everything looks the same. It's so awesome. Um, and helps us serve you better. So this is our big, cool, uh, this is a lot of the PRSs. So in the warehouse, uh, I'm sorry, the showroom up front, there's maybe only 60 guitars or so, 60 or 80. Um, in this warehouse, we probably have right now another 300 guitars on top of that. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in here, um, and we actually have space for, for quite a bit more as we continue to expand. Um, also, this is one of the best parts that Tom behind the camera really likes is we have a new photo booth which you can come in and look. Um, so this is super cool because we're getting all these nice new shots with our fancy new lights and stuff like that. Uh, once again in the old shop you had to walk up a uh, into like a loft. It was really weird. It had like a these two flights of stairs that went up in there and um, carrying $5,000 guitars up and down stairs all day isn't really ideal, especially when the stairs are like super narrow and the weird landing. When you got to the top, the ceiling was pretty low, so you'd end up whacking your head on the beam <laughs> or something. You had to kind of duck in there and it was just a tiny little, I mean, it was a, it was probably a quarter of the size of this room. It was nuts. And that's the only place we had to do photos though. So um, that's what we had previously. This is such a huge blessing to actually have a good size area to photo guitars again we're trying to get the best photos we can get all the time we're trying to get them to be consistent we're trying to get the guitars to look good to be lit evenly and when you're in a tiny space it's really hard to do that um, so huge 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 win um, so finally the last thing i'm going to show you is um, a little bit of a surprise and we're not there yet um, right now it is about to be the first of the year this is planned for probably the springtime launch, um, but I'll give you a little sneak peek. So we're actually gonna start selling cars too. <laughs> so uh, planned this spring tentatively, uh, we're gonna become ish cars and guitars. Um, some people know this, some people don't. I'm a huge car guy. Uh, I actually sold my first car, which was a Porsche 944, very similar to this. It was red on black. Um, I bought when I was 16 uh, for $2,000 out of my neighbor's driveway, not running. Got it running, got her going, and um, decided I couldn't really drive it very much because I was 16 and you only had a, a permit. And I decided I wanted to open a guitar store online because that's where things were going. And this was back in 2009. Um, and so I sold that car for $3,700 
and uh, used that for my first dealership buy-in, which was with Spectre. They were the only ones that were crazy enough to let me do a online-only uh, guitar store, and uh, uh, and with not a ton of money towards it either, because a lot of other brands wanted thirty thousand dollars to open and stuff like that, and wanted a storefront and this and that. So those guys believed in me, which is really cool because we're still a huge dealer for them. Um, but that's kind of where this whole store started and where Ish Guitars really started was way back then. And so I'm really excited. I've always wanted to get back into bringing cars along with the guitar stuff. A lot of people who are guitarists, as I'm sure you may be, are car guys or vice versa. And so uh, when we bought the building, we I was trying to make sure I could have a little extra space to uh, play around. It's not going to be a super high volume thing. Um, it's all going to be, you know, mostly cool uh, you know, higher end cars and, and fun stuff like that. Um, you know, just, I don't know, neat. I like older cars. I'm not really a, a, as much of a new car guy as I am an older car guy. Um, you might recognize the Bentley from our cross country guitar buying road trip uh, when my brother drove it from California to New York buying guitars along the way. Um, but this is a huge accomplishment. I'm really excited about it. And this garage actually was a huge amount of work too. Um, these floors came out super cool, but this floor was wrecked. There was no lights in here, not a single one. Um, there was actually a, uh, it was a, a, like an industrial cooler that took up this whole space right here. Um, it had 18 inch thick block walls with concrete and foam and stuff. And my uh, father and his mason buddy took like seven days to, and chipping hammers and stuff to rip it all out. And I left a big, huge divot in the floor. And um, so it's a lot of work's gone in this. It's not quite done yet because this wasn't really the priority because obviously the guitars are our, main business, but going forward, this is going to be kind of our, our uh, extra jam here, and, and uh, it's going to be a fun time. So if you are around Syracuse, please stop by and visit us. We are appointment only now, but that doesn't mean you got to be weird about it. You can just call us up whenever, and you know we usually have a good amount of availability to fit people in on a daily basis. If you are looking at something that's really specific, you want to spend a lot of time with us, the more you can let us know, the better. Uh, but we want to see you. Obviously, it's coronavirus season still now. Um, so, uh, any heads up you can give, you can give us, but come on in. We'd love to show you around in person if you can play some stuff, um, in the springtime, we can go for a drive and, uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, keep watching. We will announce, uh, we're going to do a grand reopening party at some point when we can do a grand reopening party and we have a parking lot now too. So you can drop stuff off a lot easier. We have a big party out there at some point and, uh, yeah exciting stuff. So thank you for watching. Thank you for believing us. And thank you for everybody who supported Ish Guitars along the way for us to get to this point. This is a huge win for us. And it's, it's just been such a blessing. It really has. So uh, thank you, everybody. And I'll see you soon.